Why? Why can't you just go be with him? Yeah. How you and Michael are done. He's uncircumcised. What? You can call the cops. Okay. I what? If you get to the point where you're discussing if another man is circumcised or not with your wife, brother, you are lost. You're lost, bro. You are unredeemable. You're cooked. You're done. What? Get the up and do something. I'll blow your life to shambles. You got me. Come on, shut the door, bro. Real talk. You want to be a gangster? Let's uh, go. Get is... Let's go. Get up. Go call your mom and tell her that. Come on. Get up. Get the up. I'll rock your ass to sleep. Did he just spit on him? Oh, nah, he would have had to, bro, he would have had to die. He would have had to die right there. Look at this, bro. I'm cut like that. This is the guy that was telling y'all that he was cut like that. Oh man, I got a crazy one for y'all today, bro. This one says that this woman refuses to let her man leave and calls the cops after he caught her cheating on him. Now that's a crazy ass title. And with that being said, I don't have much else to say, bro. So let's just jump right into the video. If you're new and you watch it through and you enjoy it, sub up and join us. And yeah, let's go. Catherine. I caught you once again cheating on me. All I want is my clothes and I will leave. May I please have my clothing items so I can get the hell out of the house? I asked you to leave anyway. I am leaving. Can I please have my clothes? You can come back later. No, I'm not coming back. Well, then you can call My clothes are right there. All I need is the things in the dryer. That's it. And I'm out of here. Can you please move out of the way so I can get my clothes and I will leave? You can call the cops. So that you can be with she's just trying to piss him off bro she's mad that she got caught that's how crazy this is bro she's not remorseful or feeling guilty in any way she's literally mad that he caught her cheating again my question is bro why again that, that should even be a thing if you caught her once that's it in the entire situation right then and there bro leave right i mean it seems like they're married and that's probably why he's asking to leave and he knows that the house is i don't know it's, it might be complicated but regardless bro again what do you mean again Ugh. anyways what she's doing right here is trying to make it as difficult as possible for him because believe it or not she's upset he caught her bro that's how crazy this girl is I'm telling y'all bro some of these evil ass husbands they pure evil i swear michael you can call the cops i don't want to call the cops i just want my clothes and i will leave okay may i please have my clothes no <laughs> told y'all bro why why can't you just go be with him why do you have to string me along because you're a good dude man listen i don't know you but i'm gonna just assume that you're you provide for her and you got your shit together bro like you're in a better position and just overall a better human being than the other guy that she's cheating on you with bro that's why she's mad that you caught her because in her fantasy world in her reality the best outcome would have been that she would be able to cheat on you without you knowing but then you would be the husband quote unquote right the cucked husband basically you would be the man that she can show off to her family that she can be seen with that she can rely on but in reality bro she's still cheating on you that other guy that she's cheating on you with i wouldn't be surprised if it was a bum and what proves that is the fact that she's literally not trying not even trying to reason with you she's trying to make this as hard as possible i'm telling y'all she's mad that she got caught obviously and how much do y'all want to bet bro if he would have pushed her out the way to get his clothes and leave <laughs> How much do you want to bet she would have called the cops and acted like he turned into Mike Tyson, bro, just immediately, just straight up pummeled her with just punches to the jaw, when in reality, all bro was trying to do was just get his clothes, man, let's see. And pretend like you don't like the guy. After the shit that I just read, just let me go, Kate. Be with him. He's right there. I'm over it, man. I'm done being punked. Just let you can keep everything. Let me have my clothes. So See, I, can, I told y'all. 
I told you it was more complicated. It wasn't it wasn't like a, a situation where he can just leave and bro is good. Nah, it seems like they're actually married and that's why he already knows, bro. He already knows he's cooked. Even though she's the one being unfaithful, maybe if he has proof, he won't have to lose anything. But y'all just heard that. He said, you can have the house. You can have everything. I'm just going to leave. So this isn't the first time this happened. This obviously isn't the first time he caught her. It seems like it's a, a situation that's just been going on for years years and years and for some reason bro just did not want to leave he's finally having the balls to do so though man and like i said she's mad because he's actually a good guy that she can be seen with not a bum seems like bro's taking care of himself and her so that's why she's mad bro she's trying to she does not want bro to leave at all as y'all can clearly see and leave and that's it i you won't bother you recording down no i'm not because this is i have to then you can because call the cops. everything that you say is a lie. Then you can just call like the how cops. you and Michael are done. He's uncircumcised. What? You can call the cops. Okay. I what? What? D no way he just threw that detail in. Again. Bro, what? Did he just. What? D Bro, I did not just hear that. Hold on. I need to run that back. There is no. My ears are deceiving me. No way he just. He just threw that in as if we weren't going to notice, bro. What did he just say? Everything that you say is a lie. Then you can Just like how you and Michael are done. He's uncircumcised. Uh, okay. I, Kath bro, why is that even a part of y'all's conversations? What did I just listen to? Why are y'all talking about if another man is circumcised or not, bro? What? Yeah, I don't know. Weird ass video. It's just disgusting, man. That is disgusting. And I'm sorry, I know the guy is, you know, the one in the right in this situation, but you gotta put blame on yourself, bro. For it to get to the point where y'all are discussing that, I don't even know what to say about that, bro. If you get to the point where you're discussing if another man is circumcised or not with your wife, brother, you are lost. You're lost, bro. You are unredeemable. You're cooked. You're done. What? He should have left a long ass time ago, man. What did I just watch? Anyways, y'all can let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. I That just threw me off guard. I swear to God, that actually just, I don't know, bro. It, I don't understand why that is ever something you should discuss with your woman. Anyways, y'all can let me know what y'all think about that, bro. I'm literally bamboozled. I cannot believe what my ears just heard. That is just weird. All right, let's move on to our second video, though, bro, which uh is actually pretty crazy, at least from the title. Let's see. I don't promote negativity on my page, but this was sent to me and I had to share this. This is so disrespectful on so many levels. This coach is from Southwest FLA Prep in a tech in Naples, Florida. Something. Get the up and do something. I'll blow your like the shambles. You got me. God, shut the door, bro. Real talk. You want to be a gangster? Uh, who is? Let's go. Get up. Let's go! I wanna blow your shit out so Pause, man. Pause. What am I watching, man? Does he think this makes him look tough? I don't know the exact situation behind this, but bro, props to the kid, man. Props to him for holding his composure. I know I wouldn't. Uh, yo, I don't care who you are. My coach, the, the boss, whoever you are, bro. You're not sitting here screaming at me like this. I call it immature or call it whatever you want to call it all i know is i'm not gonna sit there and take this so props to this man for being patient yo let me know in the comments are y'all gonna sit there and let this grown bald man yell at you like this cuss you out and call you all kinds of names and you're gonna sit there and be calm about it let me know in the comments bro he's probably being calm because he not hold on let's see Go call your mom and tell her that. Come on, get up. Get the up, I'll rock your ass to sleep. You got me fed up. My question is, why is no one else standing up for him, man? Why are his friends not standing up for him? Why are they allowing this? This just looks wrong on so many levels, y'all. I'm being so honest, bro. <laughs> this looks wrong on so many levels. Like I said, I don't care who you are, bro. You are not talking to me like this. You're not. Bro, I'm literally willing to take it as far as it needs to be taken for my respect, man. I'm being so honest with y'all. So that's why I still, like, I, I commend him for being patient, man. It takes a lot to hold your composure in when somebody's 
somebody's yelling at you like this. Not even yelling. No, no, no. When somebody's literally cursing, calling you all kinds of names and trying their best to provoke you, it takes so much patience to not lash out. So that's why I commend them for being patient. But let's see, man. You didn't say that? You didn't say that? Man, get the out of here. Get the out of my life. Go! You got me up! Hell no. Did he just spit on him? Hold on. Yeah, he spit on him. He spit on him. Oh, nah, he would have had to, bro, he would have had to die. He would have had to die right there. I swear to God, he would have had to die. Nah, bro. Nah, that is a different equation. Spitting is literally the utmost level of disrespect. That's how you get, bro. Do you realize how disgusting and how disrespectful that is? Nah, not letting that slide, bro. No, no, nah, bro. Please tell me he stands up for himself. Please, man. There is no way he just spit on him. Ugh. And why is no one else talking? You want to be a gangster until it's time to do gangster shit. I like this shit. I'm cut like that. Bro, you're not cut like nothing, bro. You're literally a weasel. You're a coach who's cussing and spitting at his players. What is wrong with you? You're an old 60-year-old pushing 70 grandfather who's out here cussing at the players of his team. You're nothing, bro. You are a coward. And you're doing this because you know that if he would have done something, if he would have punched you in your jaw, you would have him arrested and cut from the team. You're a coward, bro. Yo, that just pissed me off, man. That just pissed me off so much. I, I normally don't get that mad, man. But I hate when this shit happens. Please, man, stand up for yourselves. I don't give a f who it is to you. You don't allow this to happen to you, man. And I'm so surprised that no one else from the room is like not even saying, yeah, man, calm down, bro. Like, say something, man. Don't let this coward cuss and spit at you, bro. I'm cut like that. You're yeah, cut like that. Me, me, me. You want to put words in my mouth? Then go out there and confront them. Just, just a weirdo. Hold on, man. We got a second clip that says his apology and that he steps down. Um, so let's take a look at that, man. This is crazy to me. Founder and head football coach at Southwest Florida Prep Tech. Today I want to look at this, bro. I'm cut like that. This is the guy that was telling y'all that he was cut like that, bro. Literally one punch to the jaw, he would be in heaven. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But he would be in the afterlife, bro. I'm cut like that. Literally, I, I hate this kind of shit, man. Individuals that abuse their positions and powers are the worst of the worst. Let's see what he has to say, though. I take the time to take accountability for my actions that occurred earlier um, with a player and uh, Mr. Elvin Day. Um, my actions today were very, very unneeded, disrespectful, and wasn't a good look as far as player, coach, personnel goes. Um, I hold my players in high accountability for the way they act, and I need to be held in the same standards. And at the moment, I feel that I let my team down, my coaches down, and our program down for the actions that I displayed you know what's crazy about this he would not have released this video if the guy that was in that room wasn't recording bro if he wasn't caught on camera doing this this would not exist at all so this accountability he can go shove it up his anyways bro he can go take it and throw it outside man because that it doesn't mean anything he's only saying this and only stepping down probably not prop because of the pressure bro because of the criticism i don't know if this video went viral on the internet i don't know but he only does this because of the backlash and the fact that he was caught on camera doing this bro he can go take this apology and just here this afternoon um moving forward i am going to be suspending myself till further notice holding myself accountable for the way i acted to my team and my coaches and i'm going to do what i can to seek mentorship on myself to be able to become a better coach and mentor to my players so that i can make sure that this never happens and what are these trash ass tattoos what does he have right here lettuce is that is that a snake wrapped in lettuce why would you get that tatted on your arm bro and what is this a hairy lobster bro what <sighs> anyways man let's read the caption it says good evening to all i would like to address the actions that occurred today within our program at this time i am stepping away as the head coach of sfl prep and suspending myself <laughs> imagine being able to suspend yourself 
<laughs> and suspending myself till further notice so I can address the issues within myself to become a better mentor and coach to our program. My actions I displayed as a coach and a mentor today were very unacceptable and I take full responsibility for my actions and I need to be held accountable as I would hold a player accountable. I do understand that I have broken the coach player conduct and will seek the help to control my emotions and actions moving forward. As I tell our players they need to be better, I need to walk in the same advice as them to do so. The Seahawks, uh, I mean, the Seahawks are in good hands with the coaching staff moving. Yeah, anybody's better than you, bro. Anybody, I mean, it doesn't take much to be a better coach than you as long as you don't spit, scream, and curse and threaten to hurt your players. You would be a better coach than him, man. Anyways, this was crazy to me, bro. This got me heated. I swear, this pissed me off, man. I... <laughs> First of all, the biggest props goes to the man that recorded this, bro. Even though he didn't really say anything while it was happening, he's the reason that this coach got aired out and exposed for his behavior. So props to him. Second of all, I am very shocked by how patient that man is to the left, bro. Bro right there is extremely patient and it just... I don't know what to say about that because I will tell y'all right now that would not be me bro I know myself I would lash out listen I'm a patient man but you're not gonna spit on me bro you're not going to spit and cuss at me and then threaten to punch me in my face bro no I don't give a f who you are bro you could be the president and I'm boxing you I'm honest bro y'all can let me know in the comments what y'all would do in this situation imagine this was crazy bro this was a crazy video I hope the best for the bro right there to the left man I hope he does not have to deal with some crazy ass coaches again in the future because this was wild and that being said if you guys enjoyed the video run a likes up and uh <laughs> yeah man i'll see you on the next one bro peace out